How's it? Back with part three of the enemy of my enemy, the second scenario in the Elsid campaign. And while you guys were gone, I did a whole lot of uh, I could get. I guess you could call it grinding for the Age of Empires uh, type of grinding. Uh, I continue to do, um, scout out the map. Got a better idea of Toledo, the city of Toledo, what it looks like. Got a better idea of the Moorish rebels is. Uh, their town center, their their resource collecting area, and uh, now I am getting ready to go on the assault against um, both the Moorish rebels and the Spanish rebels, which is kind of one in the same when you're going for an assault. Hopefully, we can get this petard to th get thrown in there. No, unfortunately not. Um, so just for protection's sake, I'm going to bring a couple knights over here to protect these batterograms, which are garrisoned with uh, long swordsmen, which they recommend. Uh, Scarce and battery are best siege weapon. Yes, they are make them much quicker. Um, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, we're, continuing, we're continuing to get hit by little small raids. Um, you better not go for this battering ram. Uh, we're con continuing to get hit by some small raids from both the Spanish rebels and the Moorish rebels. But because there's no siege unit, no siege forces coming at us, there's really nothing to worry about. Um, and for making your own units for this scenario the units that you want to produce are not archer units I made it uh, made an archer range I guess I want to do that because I got thumb ring just to help I got five archers remaining that's really the only reason I have them thumb ring doesn't affect the conquistadors so their accuracy unfortunately will not be improved for you um, and continue to make some petards once you use this first force uh, of petards I'm gonna ungarrison these guys and take out those pikemen uh, once you use your first port force of batards right here to help you out against these guard towers, you can make some more because you need to take down this wall and a couple of these guard towers. It makes it a little bit easier for you to go on your own assault uh, if you do it that way. And we're eventually going to re garrison these long swordsmen in here. It looks like the Spanish rebels are shying away from fighting today, trying to figure out where they're going. Um, and I got a bunch of resources and other research technologies that uh, are pretty, pretty helpful, but I mean, there's nothing that is really gonna save you or, or keep you from winning this scenario it's kind of a I'm gonna wait it out and I'll eventually complete this scenario it's not a difficult scenario whatsoever uh, you just gotta find the resources know where to go getting some more lumber over there and getting the other gold patch right there I put a castle down as well it's a nice little outpost uh, to drop off some units if you'd really like to just like that one over there um, and just for you guys own reference you wanna garrison these guys up back again uh, just for your own reference uh, the relics are probably right there, they're right there, and right there. So those, that's the location of the relics. You can get inside the, uh, their, their base if you take this route, and that won't even make you, uh, go through any walls, but you will have to go through the, that quartet of guard towers. So I'm gonna bring a villager now, um, down to repair my battering rams before I go on the full-out assault. I'm gonna use these petards. Uh, it's about five, four or five to take down this gate first. There you are. And then I'm going to send the rest of my petards down here to do, uh, uh, whittle down what they have in, in guard towers. So it's in about four here. Right there. And be careful. This is where the castle is. You can destroy Toledo's walls by just going out to them and pressing delete. They kind of gave you that option, I just think, because they probably figured as you're a, as a player, you thought they might get in the way. And such since it's such a structured city, they kind of do. Um, so it's nice to be able to. Where are you going? Uh, it's nice to be able to just go down there and destroy some of their walls, so that'll allow me to easy, get an easy access to this castle right there. Which once it's taken care of, the the, the Spanish rebels really fall. Although, at the beginning, if you don't take down their town center quick, uh, and he doesn't know what to do, if you don't take down their town center pretty quickly, uh, they will continue to, to send more units out. Uh, and obviously, they just pump out knights and long swordsmen. Those are the only units they use. Obviously, they'll use some monks from time to time, but everybody uses monks. So, because they're either the Saracens or the Spanish, and, you know, obviously, those are very religious groups. Alright, so do we have the villager down here? I recommend always bringing a villager with you anyway, so I'm going to make another villager for that absent farm. Where is that farm? No. It's right there. Okay, good. So send that villager over there. Make sure you got farms queued up. It's always important to, to continue your resource production as you're, when you're going to go in for an assault. And um, 
I would send them for the town center actually instead of the guard tower. Uh, although you might lose a couple petards, uh, you only need five petards in the end uh, to take down a town center. So this will give you a nice boost into taking out the Spanish rebels. Obviously, they still have villagers out, um, but it is it kind of gets in the way for them, and they don't really know how to respond. Obviously, the, the Spanish uh, Moorish rebels still have theirs up there. Okay, so now that we have all those petards used up, we can send some more units down here, continue to produce some conquistadors. I recommend getting about six conquistadors and four knights. You're going to need some melee units in there as well. You can't solely rely on ranged units. That kind of gets uh, tiresome in micromanaging. Hey, are you in this group as well? Where do you think? All right, you're staying with me, okay? You're, you need to keep a villager down here because it's nice to have a monastery if you want to get some monks out uh, and things like that. And this castle will really help you out. Obviously, with all these uh, gold miners, you can get rid of all this gold really easily. And uh, you can use them next to um, to continue to get some uh, wood as we have plenty, plenty, plenty of, of, of gold and uh, food. Especially for a mission like this. Alright, so I guess I'll kill that villager. Not a big deal. Villager leading the way with the axe. Taking heads, taking names. Repo man, villager. That's who he is. Okay, so um, bring these guys down here. Uh, Alright, so that's not a big deal. Um, Alright, so we're going to sell some of our gold to get... Uh, or uh, gold to get some stone so we have an abil the ability to make a castle when we need to. Because uh, it's nice to have the ability to make a castle when you're right here. And where are my battering rams? Alright, so we can take out this lumber camp. Just kind of in the way. It's kind of pissing me off. No! We're not going to convert the stone wall. Stone wall Jackson, maybe. Not the stone wall, sorry. Okay, so keep sending this villager down. Fall in the group. Uh, Pikemen, very good against your units or most of your units, so... Make sure they're, uh, I love how that, ah, like that. Okay, so this guard tower is going to hit you for a while. Make sure you're, uh, no big deal if you lose some of these these pikemen and archers. Make sure you get these conquistadors, though, squared away. You don't want to lose these conquistadors. All right, let the battering ram get through. Let the battering ram get through. All right, so get these missionaries and monks in there. And now we get those battering rams in. Uh, you just gotta have to wait it out with these guard towers. These pesky guard towers really get in your way in your first assault. The assaults after this are much easier just because of the uh, lack of guard towers that they have, or the less guard towers. Um, and there's also they have little walled-off encampments where they have um, have gotten the uh, what, what would you call it? Um, they have little walled-off encampments where they've gotten gold before. You can see with the the mining camps in there, which are kind of annoying and pesky. I believe there's three of them. There's one right there, and there's one over here as well. There might be another one. So that's obviously an indicator that they have gold uh, stored away because they only have one uh, relic, and I believe the relics are already in there to start the scenario. So the Morris Rebels and the Spanish Rebels will both have the same amount of gold uh, at this point unless um, I believe the, the Spanish Rebels will have a little bit more gold because they have more access to these uh, quartered off. Uh... Oh, my! Pikemen... Pikemen, Pikemen. You know, Pikemen really work hard. They're one of the most resilient units you're going to find. But the sad thing is, they're wearing dresses. And people cannot take them seriously for their gender. I don't know, maybe there's some feminine uh, Pikemen out there, but I'm kind of doubting that. Same with the Halberdiers, and they trip quite often. So maybe they're a teenager or somebody, someone in their adolescent years trying to figure out how to grow out of their, uh, grow into their body. And they just don't know how to do it. Is that working? Do we have two, do we have two going at them at one time? Like, how's that working out? Okay. So take this guard tower down and then we're obviously going to move over there for that, uh, that castle. And I'm going to build up my own castle pretty soon here. So that's down and out. And we can send these battering rams over there, take out that wall, continue to take down the Spanish rebels' villagers. Um, I don't believe they seep out to anywhere else in the base, so if you can take most of them out right here, uh, you should be in good shape. Um, and sh ideally, you want to get out of the range of this guard tower and just have to deal with that one guard tower firing at you at a time. So I'm going to take that stone wall out first. And you can uh, whittle out their resource uh, gathering uh, structures. 
and their economy should be in ruins right now, even though they still have a higher score than the Morris Rebels. And let's see what these guys can do. You can send these guys over here um, by this castle, and it's somewhat helpful for you to continue to get wood, but um, there's really not, there's nothing, there's no other option for us uh, resource-wise, so we're just going to go ahead and get wood there. And make sure these guys don't get too close to the Spanish Rebels castle over there, because they, they might. Continue to kill uh, Morris Rebels units that come along. And that is a power... What are you... No, 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 no. You know what to do. Knock it down. Knock those units down. Long Swordsman. Let's check out the stats. Let's check out the stats. Oh, they're going against each other. Same stats and all. That'll be an interesting fight. Alright, get... Corral these guys. Get them back there. And I'll tell you one to bid that castle. Don't build it quite yet because there's no need for it. You're not getting hit too hard. So that long swordsman will go down once he get this castle gets in range a bit. We got loom, good loom to boost our uh, units' hit points there. Kill that villager and continue to whittle down their economy. I don't really have anything else to uh, to say to you guys. Make sure you build, uh, uh, repair some of your battering rams from time to time. And things are getting a little slow on the recording end, but uh, that's just. How things have been going lately. I've been playing some off-screen Age of Empires and acting a little bit slower than usual right now. Uh, and for a while, I had my computer. It's a laptop. I had it on on a on Power Saver, and so that kind of hurt my perform computer's performance. So that battering rams all squared away. You can build a barracks over here too, and so you can reinforce your battering rams as well. And uh, ideally, you want to take down this wall to allow your units to s uh, sneak through. And I'm gonna get rid of this art, this crossbowman. He's just annoying me. How about some gunpowder? All right. We don't need the spear, uh, the uh, arrowhead anymore. We'll pull a gunpowder, uh, some gunpowder and some lead. Fill you with lead, Tanya style. Oh, I don't know what you're repairing there. You're repairing some uh, cabbage, maybe. Cabbage get a little eaten up by the the bunny rabbits that come through. Uh, I'm continuing to use this lake right here. With, these gu with those guard towers gone, you can freely use this rest of this river for all the food that's in it, all the fish and stuff. So that's a nice boost in, uh, for food for you. And monitor these guys. They're going to run out of lumber pretty soon, but since there's nothing around them, they won't go running all over the place trying to find the next tree. So I'm going to build a barracks right after I repair this other battering ram, and that will just allow me to continue to ch turn out some pikemen, which I'm losing pretty quickly and I'm kind of just losing the archers on purpose but none of them have taken any damage yet and I'm just kind of sending out sending them out to battle King Alfonso style hoping they get killed uh, oh well and I'm continuing to trade with the Imam uh, not a huge output but still helpful nonetheless and I just recommend playing this scenario surgically excuse me uh, take your time since there's a lot of scattered around guard towers and scattered around structures and it's kind of hard to navigate through a winding city like Toledo, uh, I recommend taking as much time as you possibly can. Um, and just be cautious. They like to send out a lot of monks and you know how that can damage you. Alright, so now we can finally get our archers killed. And too bad we cannot... Um, and when you're Spain, you cannot even go up to crossbowmen. And I don't even know if I produced that many arbalists. I might have produced some arbalists in the Mongolian campaign, Genghis Khan campaign, but I really haven't gone that far out to get any arbalists lately. Alright, so now he's ready. Get these battering rams up, and we're going to assault uh, this castle over there. Uh, I'm going to build a siege workshop as well. Siege workshop will obviously allow me to get some more battering rams up, as that's going to be your primary siege weapon. And you need to take down another castle, which is down there, uh, and it has a relic as well. Um, and I recommend upgrading some of your dock units, some of your naval units to its highest power, uh, just because you're going to need um, to take down some of their, their uh, naval units later on when you're trying to get those relics over to the Imam. So we got a little gap in here. Hopefully we can sneak our battering ramps through. If you get on this side, um, I'm not sure if this guard tower will have enough range to, uh, to meet you up with that. Yes, it will. Um, they got another fisherman. Oh, oh they're garrisoning it up. All right. Do they have murder holes? Do they have research murder holes? I'm not sure, but nonetheless, battering rams have great. Uh, all right, so kill any long swordsmen that come through. 
that's that's a great tool about garrisoning up battering rams. And to answer your question, uh, Daryl, ah, not sure. I'm gonna try it uh, in the next part. I'll remember to put some batards. Uh, see if I can put some batards in my battering rams. I'm not sure if that would work out for me though. All right, so let's try to kill some of these guys. Get these long swordsmen out. Try to kill as many villagers as we can. All right, so send uh, your battering rams over there, and I don't know where their villagers are going to go. Hopefully, they don't really build the town center. Not bad. Uh, such a bad thing if they do, though. And I'm going to make another battering ram, and let's make a batard. Just see if I can test it out. See if they can garrison it up in the in the uh, battering ram. I, it's kind of like the crazy Ivan IFV of uh, Age of Empires to the Age of Kings. I don't know. Did you steal something, Westwood? I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you stole something, Westwood. First thing that I could ever say bad about your name. Stealing some content from another great game. Not a bad thing, though. Some worse games you can steal things from. Okay. So make sure all your units are healed. It's nice to have some missionary or monk around, especially when you're getting relics as, uh, as well. So I'm going to destroy this gate because I don't need it in my way. And on garrison these guys, take out these long swordsmen. Bye bye gate, don't need you there. Bye bye wall, that just makes it a little bit easier for you to get through. And all their guard towers, their initial defenses are taken care of at this point. And careful about some crossbowmen trying to go for your villagers over there as well. So it looks like they got another guard tower to take care of. And I'm going to turn out some long swordsmen here. Plot them in this battering ram and that will assist me. There's a lot of unit producing structures down here as well. Uh, so you got to be careful when you're going down there. Uh, they like to send a lot of uh, camels, especially you realize, and long swordsmen. There's, I believe, there's three, there's three barracks over here that the Spanish rebels have, and there's a ton of stables. Um, so they're very persistent. Um, hey, get to work, get to work. Use that wand. All right, so this will uh, eat up some of their economy if they once they get their villagers a little bit closer to me. I can uh, pop out some petards and take down this town center. Um, and not much will be going on. After this part, I really won't be doing much off screen uh, before, uh, what is it, part four of the enemy of my enemy. Um, primarily, I'll just be scouting out. I'll scout out the rest of the city, most likely, and uh, maybe take down a couple Spanish rebel villagers if I can find them. Uh, but we'll see if I can hunt them down. And garrison all the long swords when you can in there. Ideally, you don't want to have. Uh, your pikemen in the in the in the battering rams, just because when you got pikemen in the battering ram, uh, and you got a long swordsman coming out, maybe if you have a, a knight going for your battering ram, they'll be effective. Um, but if you got pikemen in your battering ram, they usually are not effective against. They're not very diverse infantry units. All right, so it looks like we gotta uh, queue up some more farms over here. Uh, I'm so F hotkey. I'm trying to get some learn some more hotkeys, just because I figured that would be nice if I chip that in for you guys. Oh, okay, okay. We gotta ring the town bell or ring the town door. And take out some of these Spanish rebel units. Finally are getting to my villagers. And I think I'm gonna bring them somewhere else in the next part as well. I'm gonna get them away from th these group of trees. It's kind of in a precarious location. So, not much else to do in this part other than uh, repair this battering ram one more time. And we're slowly working our way towards the... Let's see if I can garrison any more. All right, yeah, we're slowly working our way towards the the relics that they have. So, like I said, oh my goodness! So this is where you're gonna send your battering rams, apparently. Watch this supremacy coming through. Villagers, check this, check this. Unique tech. Oh, it's the that's in the Imperial Age. I forgot. I didn't have that research. And it's garrison, so that's pissing me off. Go for this pikeman. Obviously, when you got sage units coming at you, you always go for the infantry or cavalry units first. Take out these, take out the battering rams, take out the battering rams. Villager against paper bags. Who's gonna win? Oh my gosh! Kill this guy. Oh, this is exciting. Five battering rams. This is all you got, Spanish rebels. You got what paper bags? Please, you can buy that at my local supermarket. Not for the amount that you call for. Alright, and I can repair this castle anyways. Uh, hopefully it just doesn't get in the burning state. Go for these pikemen that are pouring out of their barracks right now. And this is kind of an interesting end to uh, part three of the enemy of my enemy. So in the next part, I will see you guys uh, a little bit later on when I move these villagers out of this precarious lo location. And I'll be uh, rebuilding this castle as well because it's getting a hit kind of hard. So see you later.